Okay, well, um, there was episode 11, so here we are going into episode 12. Let's see what happens. Previously on Resident Evil Revelations. Come clean with us, O'Brien. Don't leave anything out. Everything is in perfect order. Enjoy the rest of the celebration of the Queen Dido, Norman. <laughs> Raymond realized that Morgan was not who he seemed. Even though Morgan didn't seem good to begin with. The whole Veltro revival. I mean, again, you look at the interaction between Morgan and O'Brien, like, at the beginning, and it doesn't look good for Morgan. But I haven't given up yet. They've left us with an ace in the hole. I thought that failed to download. I thought it specifically showed that they started downloading, it almost reached the end, and then it was cancelled because of all the explosions. Episode 12, The Queen is Dead. Poor queen. Alright, well, I mean, yeah, let's see what this episode has to offer. Yes, Queen Dido. She's been resting on the ocean floor since that day. Which means Do we gotta go down to it? The Terra Grigia. Exactly. We have a responsibility to see this mission through. O'Brien out. What exactly are we trying to accomplish at this point, though? I'm missing that part. Like, yeah, there's a third ship. Are we finding evidence? Is that all this is? And frankly, no. I don't know why he has one of those. And this isn't great. It's the bad guys. Hey, Morgan. Morgan Lansdale. We're taking show over. The BSAA is hereby under the direct supervision of the FBC. Clive R. O'Brien, you are under arrest for collaborating with the terrorist organization Veltro. Chris, Jill, you're our only hope. Only so much you could do with bureaucracy and stuff like that, you know? The remains of Terra Grigia. And the Queen Dido. Approaching drop-off point. So after a year, how have the buildings not, like, sunken any further into the ocean? Seems like... Doesn't it seem like they would have? I don't know. I guess I don't know how it worked to begin with, so can't say. That's the Queen Dido. The third queen. Well, the other two were just sisters, weren't they? Wait, no, no, sister ships, but it was Queen Zenobia, Queen and then the S's. Samisaran or something like that. <laughs> they are queens, my bad. Do I wiggle? Do you want me to wiggle the mouse? You do want me to wiggle the mouse, I called it. Don't worry, expert mouse wiggler here. I could do this for like two minutes. Grabbing it, can't grab it, full health, nice. Um, and you? Got some shotgun shells, cool. I hope I don't have to do this on every door. <laughs> How does that work? How does it just pop off when I went like that a little bit? <laughs> it's rather quiet. My time itself has stopped. Blobs we found on the beach. They came from here. That explains why Morgan cordoned off the area. Oh, please don't make me go through many doors, at least. If, if this has to happen every time, <laughs> let it be just a few. Okay, so that was just a little supply room. Um, 
Do I want to go out? No, I don't want to go out. What? what uh, did I miss something? Hold on. Oh, there's another door. Okay. Oh, because I don't. I haven't picked up a map of this place yet, and so I just need to actually find things. I can't rely on like the map, the mini map at this point in time. Hey, buddy. Okay. Oh, now I can look. Hold on. Where was that? Uh, there it is. At least he died a human, more or less. I wonder if those corpses on the beach were Veltro. Something's still alive. Yeah. Careful. You won't be able to fight them off underwater. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing. Rifle ammo case. Nice. Um, where, where the crap did that thing go then? Because this, it clearly, the game clearly doesn't want me to go out. So that's not a thing. And it didn't seem like there's anything else in this room. Where did the monster even go? He just went that way and disappeared. Oh, look. I'm sorry? I don't think that's supposed to happen, okay. Sudden redness. Oh no, balls, I was here before. It's that hallway. Oh, but that means that if I, okay. Then this hallway is new. Gotcha. Let me just, uh... <laughs> Draw a quick vertical line here. Is that the locking mechanism? But would that really toss the whole door off just like that? I feel like it wouldn't be smart to turn that on anyway. Given, you know, underwater and everything. Also, um, is she supposed to be wearing gloves or something? Yeah, I know. I hope the emergency power still works. Just because I, I would imagine her hands are like freezing right now. Okay, I'll see if I can get the power going. Oh, hey, buddy. Okay. Hey, Power, are you in here? Is there anything in here? Is this a... No. Um, I'm thinking... Is this just a hiding room? Maybe that's all that's for. Or maybe it's more of a maze kind of thing. <laughs> Don't eat me yet. I mean, don't eat me ever, but just don't do the thing is what I'm saying. Hey, I found it. It's machine gun ammo and F. All right, Chris, you got it. Jill, the door's open. Excellent. Okay. I just have to avoid getting eaten along the way. That was close. I did it! Was it close? Good. Glad I didn't make it then. Oh wait, no, glad I glad I made it slash didn't get eaten. Mix the two sentences in a way that did not work. And I guess up we go. Chris not even helping with his giant biceps. Okay, there he's helping. There's still air. Good. 
Well, yeah, did they just completely take off their wetsuits? Where did they put them? How, where were they carrying their other clothing? Pretty sure they were not wearing this while swimming. Also, he hasn't been dead for long? They've really had people on the ship that whole time? Or like recently? He's FBC. There's something in his hand. I mean, yeah, I could pick it up. Hold on. Hey, Chris. Um, sure. Voice recorder. Perfect. I've always wanted one. This is Agent Dario Barioni of the FBC Armed Forces. The time is 1948. What's the date, though? I request that this recorder be handed over to General Lansdale. If found by the next team, everyone on my team is dead. Killed by the devil himself. Well, I doubt that. We were unable to retrieve the video log. Our mission has failed. Video the log. Control. They weren't sitting around waiting for death to come to them. When the FBC arrived, they were waiting for us. Even though Terra Grigio was a year ago. Thoughts of revenge. Kept them alive. Thoughts of revenge kept them alive. What, Veltro? I don't know. Seems a little iffy. Oh my god. Of course it's too far away. Let's grab this. Oh, can't grab that. I am full on a lot of things. Okay. That's kind of weird, but whatever. 30 rifle ammo? Really? Wow. That was a lot of rifle ammo in one chunk. Oh, this is where they were doing the recording stuff, right? They just had the background and everything. Is it really survival at that point? Is it, dude? Cause I don't know. So because we did a bad thing, we're going to become monsters where we will undoubtedly cause pain to untold numbers of innocent people. Okay. Good news it only took one year. And he has the video we can use to nail Lansdale. Oh, he didn't set the video down somewhere for me. I was like looking around for it. <laughs> oh, but there's a thing. Can I pick it up? Cannot. Could I pick this one up? I think I already tried. Yep, cannot. I can pick up this? No, machine gun ammo? I can. Okay, cool. All right, I don't even have my shotgun on me right now. Forgot about that. Okay, so that's where we came from. Probably want to go out this door. I mean, do we want to? I don't know. But... Ooh, this is ominous. Okay, you want to say that again? Okay. Pape Satan, Pape Satan, Alepe. 
It's weird how some people Which one shall find again his dismal tomb, shall we assume his flesh and his own figure, shall hear what through eternity re echoes. This is a terrible zoom. Is that any zoom? Anyway, I was just oh you can adjust the zoom actually. Oh jeez. Okay, you click it. Is he actually talking? Does his do his lips move? His lips don't move. I was just going to say, it's weird how some people are like super affected. Like, look at Rachel, right? She was super affected by the virus. She was immediately transformed. She couldn't control herself, all that stuff. But then this dude, he looks like himself. And he's undoubtedly going to turn into a monstrosity. I mean, I guess like, when did he... When did he inject himself? I don't know. Yeah, I don't work for him though, so indeed. This little machine contains the truth. Oh, the truth needed to bring down your entire charade. Oh no. Guess I'll pick it up. <laughs> Glad he didn't break it. Where did there it is. God, it picked up Norman's PDA. I'll leave you be now. Well, I guess we will then. <laughs> he asked nicely. What, you'll inject yourself again? So Chris wanted to get out of here and not wait around for it to happen. But now he's fine with waiting. But yeah, like, didn't he already inject himself? Why Why did that one take such, like, quick effect? Resident Evil games, if you look too, like, heavily into the logic, I feel like they don't really hold up. <laughs> Which, uh, obviously, it's, like, sci-fi. But. <laughs> Let's just, uh, back out. And next! I'm feeling like this might be final boss stuff. Like, it's either him, or it's gonna be Morgan Infected who's final boss, you know? Norman, stop! Morgan isn't here! It's no use. He's gone over the edge. What? How, how can he do that? Also, I need that. Maybe I should have secured that better. What in Like, in what pocket had I put that? Of everything that flies out? It's that. Nope. Ow. Hey, can your heart open up again? I'm ready, bruh. Teleport at me. Is that on your back now? Well, there is something on his back at least. It seems like it's going fine so far though. Okay, so he just didn't open up that time. Come on, you gotta follow your boss rules. Boss rules, boss rules, okay, never mind. Oh, there's only, that's what Chris is saying. Why? Right, he's the fake one, okay. I still don't understand how he has this power. As an infected creature, he's just able to make illusions of himself? Like, when has that ever been a thing? Oh, 
No. He's just infected. Did he beat him? I think it beat him! So he can't have been the final boss. Unless he has other phases. Good for you, dude. No! The tapestry! <laughs> oh, how symbolic. With his death, Veltro is destroyed. Morgan, treats his friends. Morgan doesn't have friends. I hope he finds more comfort in death than he did in life. <laughs> Her expression when she said that. The means of dispersion? The cruise ship is equipped with a UAV. That is your delivery system. Very well. Now show me the goods. Look at those goods. A little bit of this could turn a city inside out. I think we're done. I'll be on my way. Who would have thought, yes? That the lowly terrorists would receive a helping hand from the venerable commissioner of the FBC. Who <laughs> just stops there? <laughs> So they were able to transmit that all the way back? As you can see. How'd that happen? Likely you'll be wriggling out of this one. I seem to have underestimated the BSAA. Perhaps you as well. We found this in the off limits area near Terragrigia. We're done analyzing it, so you can have it back. Don't don't give him that. Surely you understand our Without the Terragrigia panic, the ignorant masses would be unaware of the threat that lies before them. Yes, you may in fact be correct. No one has the right to detain me. Really? The world required my guidance. It was all for the greater good. You're only fooling yourself. You said yourself, abandon hope, all ye who enter here. But I'm not Dante. You're not Virgilius. Morgan Lansdale, you are hereby relieved of your position as FBC commissioner. And Can you do that? You under arrest on suspicion of conspiring with Veltro. I mean, they both put each other under arrest within like half an hour of each other. <laughs> if even that. With all due respect, The BSAA is making a huge mistake. Okay. Where have I heard that before? Episode 12, The Queen is Dead, and... Yep, just another achievement for another episode done. So, S, that's good. Clear episodes 10 through 12, raid mode stages 18 through 20, and bonus stage unlocked. Cool. Oh, wait, did it... It didn't give me a chance to save? It was just next? Is that the end? Finally reveal what happened at Terra Grigia. Yeah, but the cost was high. The BSAA will have to be overhauled. The storm is gone now. But how long will it last? Huh. I think it's actually the end of the game.
Yeah. After Morganland's Del's arrest, the FEC was dissolved with the majority of its agents and resources transferred to the BSAA. Hopefully they're good agents. The BSAA would then be reformed into an anti-bioterrorism organization under the aus auspices? Ausp I don't remember that word. Of the United Nations. Wasn't BSAA already anti-bioterrorism? I, I never remember what it stood for throughout this entire playthrough, so. And of course they made it out. Did Raymond and Parker also make it out? Keith Lumley is now a leading figure at BSAA's East African branch due to his accomplishments at Volkainen Maki. I don't remember how to say that. Quint Ketchum, on the other hand, continues to refuse promotion to any leadership position, but he still works at the BSAA's main headquarters in the R&D department. Hey, look who survived. And is trying to learn how to read. Parker Luciani, or Luciani, I don't know, Luciani, was found adrift offshore the Republic of Malta in the Mediterranean Sea and was rescued. Wait, so he was without Raymond? After a month of medical treatment, Parker returned to his position as a special operations agent for BSAA's main headquarters. Clive R. O'Brien decided to take responsibility for his actions and stepped down from his position as head of the BSAA. Okay. What happened to Raymond, game? I am much more interested in that than I was about Parker. He's currently an advisor to the BSAA and is also writing a detective novel from the comfort of his own home. Oh, good for him. That's cool. This just seems like Resident Evil 1 now. And as for Jill Valentine and Chris Redfield, they have no idea what horrific fate awaits them. Oh, that's leading, right, that's leading into Resident Evil 5. And then you have that whole thing. I swear she was blonde in that cutscene. And ready. What the heck happened to Raymond? They didn't show what happened to Raymond. The last thing we see is like him helping Parker. I j I'm just gonna assume that Raymond drowned. Right, cause he and Parker were together on the ship when it went down and Parker was found ashore. So I guess Raymond j is just dead despite being like one of the smarter and more capable people portrayed in this game. And Parker having two death fakeouts. Level three, three if you count the thing on the ship, last when you see him and Raymond and it's going up. So that's dumb, Parker with three death fake out survives, but Raymond again, like one death fake out, sure, but he he did so intentionally, like that was his own doing with the bulletproof vest and all that. Yeah, okay, so I was really surprised by that final boss considering it did not seem like a Resident Evil final boss. Like, it was super easy. Like, I got, I think I used two herbs, I had five, I never used my RPG because I didn't think it was the final boss. Um, I did use my sniper rifle, and that is, again, a, it was doing like 2,000 damage every shot, so it's a powerful gun, for sure. Um, but he wasn't difficult, he, he only had that one phase, all it was is, I mean, like, within that phase he had different, like, moves and stuff, like, as he got more damage, but I'm not gonna count those as separate phases, you know? Not really. It's just, you would shoot the heart when he's doing his slow, like, charge-up attack, and then, you like, he'd fall forward and you try to shoot the thing on his back. And that's all you did. And then and then he switched it up a little bit by apparently making an illusion when he teleported. So you had to find the right one. And that was a little tricky for me, largely just because of like my sensitivity being lower than like when it, the default. So, you know, it was kind of troublesome to turn around and find the real one in time and then pull up my scope and then shoot the heart successfully. But he really wasn't difficult. It's like Rachel was so much harder than the final boss. You know, <laughs> like I... I don't know if that should be the case, exactly. So... Yeah, I feel like some of the twists of this game were weird and or... There were definitely some dumb parts, you know, just to the game overall. Like, again, I'll totally still complain about the whole Parker and Jessica part. Like, Jessica apparently got off the ship, but we don't know how. I didn't think that, like, Morgan had men or a helicopter or whatever stationed and ready for her to get off. It didn't seem like she was able to get to her ship in time. You know, like what she and Chris came in on? 
I don't know. Or even if she did, like, wouldn't she very potentially get attacked by that giant sea monster that was waiting outside? It's like, how did she escape? And, and like, her attitude is so cocky. I hated it. It was so dumb. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I was thinking from the beginning, you know, like, what? You mean the truth is, like, the good guys are the bad guys kind of thing? And like I said, it wasn't subtle with, like, Morgan talking to O'Brien that, like, Morgan was the evil dude. It, it wasn't subtle. Um, I didn't know that, like, O'Brien was pretending to be Veltro. I still don't really see why he was pretending to be Veltro. Like, he said because there was a mole in BSAA, but I feel like he could have handled that a little bit better, a little bit more intelligently, without putting, like, as much on the line as he did. So, that's a thing, apparently. Um, Morgan was needlessly cocky. At the end, he's like, I did it for the greater good, but like throughout the rest of the game, I didn't see him as doing it for the greater good. It just seemed like he was doing it because he wanted to do it. It's like, you can say that you're doing it for the greater good, but when you talk about other things in a clearly I'm evil manner, you lose some credibility there. Oh, look who it is. Almost too easy, wasn't it? company let them take Morgan out with the trash. Tough world. You filed a report on this. Raymond's alive. By the way, why save Parker? <laughs> I have my reasons. Oh, dang it. The SAA isn't as useless as I thought. Things could really heat up. Indeed. Fun's just getting started. Now I'm more upset. I'd rather Parker be dead than be a random douchebag turncoat. <laughs> like, I, I think it was fair to say Parker ended up being one of my favorite characters, like, just at the end there. But then, like, with this revelation, it's like, ah, well, there is no good in the world. <laughs> like, I, I genuinely came to like, I didn't care for him earlier on because he was just, you know, well, he didn't have much to his character. He just kind of scoffed and, like, he gave me a key once, you know, that kind of thing. And then I wondered, like, why he was pretending to be Veltro, which I clearly still question. But, yeah. And I did wonder, too. It's like, well, what if there were two moles? I did wonder about that. Not, like, seriously, but more, like, in a hypothetical just case of, like, any time there is a mole in some show or game or whatever. I'm like, what, what would happen if there were two moles? And then there was, like, one that was the mole to take the fall. And then the other one was still a mole. But meanwhile, the organization thinks that they're, like, off the hook or whatever. And I, I, I guess that's what happened, basically. Like, she was the mole to take the fall. And, and he, he was also there. But then some things don't quite make sense because it's like, Parker showed up and held the gun at Jessica when she was going to hit the self-destruct button. And then Parker showed up too. Or no, sorry, not Parker. And then Raymond showed up too. And then he aimed the gun at Jessica. And then again, one of them fired when Jessica was starting to reach for the button. And then Raymond was the one who continued to hold the gun on her. And it was Parker who then tried to, like, you know, he like, lower Raymond's hand. And Jessica tried to shoot at Raymond again, which I already thought was kind of dumb because he had a bulletproof vest, but unless she was aiming elsewhere, I don't know, which is possible. But it's just like, what game were they playing? Since they were both there, if they were both moles, they could have just shot Parker really quickly or whatever, you know? Like... Like, Raymond could have just shot Parker from behind as he was approaching, you know? There, I just feel like there are so many things that don't make sense that the, the developers just included as a gotcha moment. Or, you know, purely... Hydra, that's cool. It looks cool, at least. Or purely as a means of... um introducing things for like future games but i don't remember parker from other games to be honest congratulations now you can use the save data to start a new game with all of your equipment intact would you like to save cleared data uh yeah i'll do that so there 
I have saved it. Yeah, so like, uh, you know, a fair number of questions, a fair number of things that I didn't like about the game. You know, mostly story-wise. Um, but like, gameplay-wise, it didn't really feel, you know, too different from like, Resident Evil 5 or 6, honestly. Like, it, it felt, it fit within there pretty well, I thought. Select outfit has been added to the campaign, me campaign menu. Now you can choose a new outfit for your character. Let's see what outfits there are. And then we'll call, and then we'll call the session here. But I'm curious. Alright, so for you, we got the default. Nice. Well, I'm sorry, is the default new? It, sa it says new. Okay. It, it looks like I only have defaults. Why would it be like, you have skin options now, you can change your outfit, and then there's there's nothing. That That's dumb. That's dumb, don't give- Why would you not give me at least like one to start with? It's fine if you want to have like other mystery outfits, like all these question marks that I can unlock. But like, why would it- Why wouldn't it give me stuff to start out instead of just being like, you can have new outfits, bleh, same outfits. Whatever. Anyway. That was Resident Evil Revelations, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, of course, make sure to leave a like down below. Make sure to comment on the series and tell me all of the beautiful things that have crossed your mind. If you have some reservations about this game, you know, now that we've completed it the same way that I do, if you question the story and things like... Because that's mostly the story I question. I, I think the worst part about the gameplay is just the dodge mechanic and how it's tied. The two buttons that you can possibly use to dodge are tied to two other mechanics in the game, which make it really hard to dodge, in my opinion. That's my biggest thing mechanic-wise that I have an issue with. Um, but yeah, comments, because it's cool to interact and see your thoughts and stuff like that. Even if I don't respond, I, I read, so far, I've read, like, every comment that's been posted on this channel. So, like, you are seen. Like, I, I see you. I do see you. Um... But yeah, I don't think I have anything more to say. So thank you guys again. And with that, we're calling it here. Have a good one.